Hello guys, I'm Yelchin. Today we are going to discuss about product research tool from Seller Sprite. It's a really powerful tool. We have more than 100 options and filtrations. We can utilize it to find exactly a product we are looking for. But before that, we need to define our goal and our budget. What kind of product we are looking for, in which niche we are looking for the product, what's our budget and the skill to source and sell that product. After defining these metrics, we can look for the product according to our revealing. So first of all, we come here and we see different marketplaces. Today I'm going to search product in United States. These are options to search product for different time frame like 2022 or 2021, June. But today I'm going to search product in last 30 days. Here, we need to select any category. Today, I am searching product for home and kitchen category. Need to select it. Then we come here. Here we see units sold. For example, I would like to put here 1,000 minimum. A revenue. I would expect around 30,000. Then number of ratings are also very important. I would like to put here 1,000 maximum. I'm searching the products have less than 1,000 reviews. Here, we can put FBA fees. I think we can use it ultimately, but not now. Then we can use gross margin. I would like to put here 50% gross margin. Here, sourcing and shipping costs are excluded. So we need to pay attention. I would like to check the product, which is FBA. Let's search now and see what's going to appear. We got 3,420 products. And we see all those products here. I think this is more. We need to make it less. So I would like to select size here. Large standard size. Just save it and click search now. So we narrowed on 705 products here. Now it's better to analyze those. And the first thing we see the product here. This is bathroom organizer as far as I understood. It is a bed sheet, something like that. And the products here we can analyze and we can see information under the product. For example, we can see Assens, we can see BSR growth, we can see gross margin percentage and with number. This is ratings and this is average ratings. This is sales trend from here. We see the month sales and revenue as well. From here we see last 30 days sales and its growth. For example, for this particular product, there is a 10% decrease in revenue and units sold. Same information here and there is also the launch time. For this product, launched in 2020. It is a cool stuff I would like to do. I would like to see the product launched in last one year or maybe you can choose six months or something like that and search now. The number decreased by half almost. There are now 325 products. Now I would like to sort the product according to different metrics. I leave it always descending from here. I can sort according to revenue, BSR, etc. I would like to sort according to revenue. Just select revenue here and go. This product generated almost $1 million in last 30 days. So this is huge. Maybe we need to find another example. For example, this product. This product is something with light. When we put mouse over, we are gonna see the product picture and the product picture metrics. Under that we see the category and subcategory. Here, we see sellers, sellers from Hong Kong and its FBA. And we see buy box owner. 
Here, we can reverse the ASIN for this particular product, just click it. And we're gonna see these products related keywords here. There are more than 1,200 keywords. We can see Keyword Explorer, Ads Insights. For example, let's check out Ads Insights. And we click here, we come to another tool from our software. You see this product has four campaigns and five ad groups. And you see all those ad groups here. Come back again, a seller spread product research. Calculate FBA profit. Let's calculate it. This is product price and you can put cost of goods. I just suppose it's $30 and shipping cost is $2 and maybe other cost $5 PPC cost. I suppose your tackle is around and when you launch it will be around 15 or 20%. So I put here again $7, etc. You need to find the price and calculate it by yourself. And then update rate. So based on these numbers, our profit margin would be 43% and this is net profit. Of course it's mostly less than what we calculated, but you have to know your number one by one with every detail. Let's go back again, a product research tool. If you think you have found the product you are looking for, you can add this product into Product Tracker. Just click here. And this is a previous list I created to track product. I could add this product into any of them or I can create new one. Now I'm creating a new and name it like product research. Just save the tag. This product successfully has been added into our new product list. Just close it now. So let's find one product and check its historical trend. Let's check out this product. When we come here, there is a function. Just click it. Now we are gonna see historical trend of the product. As we see from 2020 to December, there is a stable increase for sales and revenue. It's upward. From here, you can see that data as a table in each month, how many units sold and what was the revenue. For example, in January 2023, this guy sold more than 3,000 units of the product. Average price was over $38. So there is a slightly decrease for price in compared to January as we see from here, but it's stable somehow. There is a huge increase in sales and revenue. Let's check next one, rating rates. And now we see ratings and how many ratings this guy got over the time. This all blue bar chart indicates how many reviews he got over the month. For example, last month he gained more than 120 reviews. From here we can see important keyword search volume and each color indicates one keyword list. Levoid Air Purifier Replacement Filter. Even though that is a brand name here. We see this guy works very well and there is an increase in their brand name with keywords. From here we see BSR, price, ratings and average ratings and that is available time etc. So if you would like to again add this product to Product Tracker, you just need to click here. And from here we can also see Keepa, an alternative tool. Just click it. We are gonna see a historical trend like BSR, Review, Growth BSR for Category or Subcategory etc. And the price changes as well. You can make it smaller and bigger to see different time frame datasets. Right down corner, you can change it from 3 months to 6 months or a year, etc. You can utilize it as you like. Just close it now. So if you would like to change the view of this product, you can come here and just click here. Grid view. We are going to change the view for you. And you can see it like this. For me, I always use the previous one because I see details of the product. Just now, I switch back. If you also would like to see products variation, you can click here and see the variations. Number is 233. But after clicking, there will be dramatic increase for product units. Let's see. It increased almost 10 times. 
Again, you can sort a product for different revenue or sales or price or etc. You can do it from here. If you would like to compare any of this product, you can select it from here, just come up and click compare. Here, we are gonna compare sales, we can compare revenue, we can compare price, we can compare ratings and etc. We can also change the comparison time like from 3 months to 1 year, then close it. And if you would like to download all this product, you can download it from here. And if you would like to just download sales, you can download it from here. And there are also many filtration functions here. For example, you can put average ratings or FBA fees, a seller from which country you can select it from here, like China, United States, Germany, etc. So you can use all these tools and find the exact product you are looking for. It would help you a lot. Just you need to first of all, as we said in the beginning, define your goal, your budget, your financial situation. Then you need to search the product according your budget and your willingness. So this is what I would recommend. Here, we have some ready presets. You can use it maybe, if you would like. If you select any of them. For example, let's select recommended for a new seller. Just click it and then we are gonna fill these filters with some of numbers. As you see, we put 300 here, the minimum units sold. And this growth for 3%, Price between $15 to $60, FBA, etc. There are 72 products appears. So you can use it as you like. You need to apply this filtration and in the end you can find exactly a product you would like. So in the beginning I chose home and kitchen category. If you would like to have product related with specific keyword, you can put it here. For example, I would like to put here kitchen. Let's see what the product appears. Just click it. After putting kitchen here, there are almost 2,400 products related with kitchen. We see all those products here. So again, you need to decide by yourself. This is a video about a product research. Thank you for watching. See you in the next videos.